Well, it's Thursday, and it's raining still. It's supposed to rain, you know, continuously for two or three days. And then the hurricane is supposed to get here. I think the outer bands might get here uh, sometime on Sunday. And the latest forecast is it's going to come visit us. That's not a good thing for most people. I'm out delivering knives. Well, I'm digging one set of knives back now. And then I got to make another set later on. No driving turkey. Stand by. Well, I dropped off the knives and I got a new uh, hickory with an M6. I might put that in today or tomorrow. I'm going to have plenty of time. Plenty of time on my hands. I'll take you to the bay in a minute. Well, it's Saturday morning about 9 o'clock. The rain is gone and the sun is out. The grass needs cutting, but it's really wet. And the erosion is tremendous on lots of spots where we go. In about an hour, me and the Mumbles man are going somewhere just to do a recon. We got some pictures yesterday from Doc Beaver, because that was 24 hours later. Things are really, some places are really devastated with the erosion. And then we got the hurricane coming. Of course, everybody knows that's going to stay offshore, but the outer bands and the swirl and whatever else is associated with it, we'll get some of that tomorrow sometime in Monday. Okay, I'll get back to you. Well, I'm headed to the Mumbles man's house. And we're going to do a little recon, like I said. The sun's gone. I was here earlier. Major clouds moving back in. Tide's going to be high in three hours. We'll see how it goes. We've had a major overwash up here on the parking area on the bay. Major, major wash over here. This is the East Beach where we hunt, where I detect that. Showing down there, if we could get down there, we ain't going down there. We're still doing a recon. We ain't trying to make our mind up. The game is right now. Keep some steps showing. Like I said, I guarantee you there's some steps there. And that's the area right there that he filled in with all them trucks of sand last year. Not a pebble of that there anymore. Washing machine, the bay. No rain forecast. But I can tell you one thing, it's as rough as bricks everywhere. What? Oh yeah, now we're down by the pier. up everywhere we decided to come to the land of Nala. We're gonna check it out. A lot of people doing the same thing we're doing, checking it out. 
Stand by. I see a fancy dog right there. A lot of dogs today. Looks like the high water mark right here. You can see where the grass stops. Right mid beach all the way up. I see a fancy a halfway cut up that way. Yeah, we got cuts everywhere. Little ones. Nothing major. They're gonna check out the water. There's that nice dog right there. Bringing the uh, M6 today. Not that I wanted to, I just want to break it in a little bit. Get some shaft to swell up, get the shaft wet. Okay, stand by. So the first talk is a week 11-13. That way we got it. I can't see it though. <laughs> I still can't see it. Stand by. Yeah, we got it. It's right there somewhere. I don't see a damn thing. All I see is sticks. Stand by a minute. I find it. There somewhere, but I don't see it. So it must be awful tiny. I ain't gonna worry with it. There it is. So I went back and kept looking for it. A little teeny water. Does it show up on your yeah. screen? Really thin. Oh, you say okay. you're from where, Kentucky? Yeah. What part? Uh, Madisonville. Madisonville, Kentucky. What's your name? Richard Mallory. Richard, how you doing, buddy? I'm uh, Max. Hi, uh, Max. I'm going to look you up. Okay. Grave Digger Max. Grave Digger Max. You'll be on there tonight. All right. I'll be late, but you'll be on there. And the dogs I was telling you about. Nice dogs. Yeah, that's my They're daughter. big, huh? That's my daughter and yeah. her dog. That's your dog? That's your dog? That's my daughter and her, oh. her two dogs. She lives here. Oh, they got two big dogs. I got a dog, but he's not that big. I got three daughters. You see him on some of my videos. His name's Jack. Yeah, Great Dane? No. Uh oh. <laughs> but they're big. Yeah, they are. White. Yeah. You say that was a young one, only a year old, huh? Yeah. What's his name? He's not even a year old. Atlas. Atlas. <laughs> Come here, Atlas. Come here, Dila. Dila. Come here. Come here. Bowser, get in there. What are you doing? Bowser, how much you eat today, Bowser? <laughs> how you doing? Well, we got another 12, 13. Right there, it's scoop. I just dug it up. Right there. Two inches deep. Let's take it out here and wash it out in this fine whole scoop we got. Oh, sea foam. That's all we got. Give me some water, baby. I still don't see crap in that. I swear, there ain't no justice in this game. You gotta take it up here and dump it out any damn way. Oh, I see that's a quarter. Can't be no quarter. It looks like a quarter. Yep, yeah, I guess it is a quarter. I ain't sure. Call it a 
quarter for now. More Bowser. Little ones and big ones. <laughs> that nice target right here. That's a penny though, I think. 1241. Might be a dime, stand by. What the heck it is? Not a penny though. That's raining on us. Not hard, but raining. And the sun is shining. Boy, what a funny day. A lot of black sand, but it always is after a blow. Got mobile lifeguards today in your ATVs. Is that a mobile man's making out of it? I got a quarter of a dime and a washer. You have to move your sensitivity down? Yeah. Then it just stuck two cans at once. 1236. 1236. Are they full? Are they empty? Oh. It's brand, not popped yet. Yeah, brand new. Bud Light. Told them on a beat. Somebody will take them. Mama's man, he's like aqua chigger now. He's got him something to drink. Two whole cans of Bud Light. If you watch anything of aqua chigger, you know he's always on the river. He's always looking for something to drink when he finds it. Gatorade or white light thin or whatever. <laughs> now here we got a strong 1227. I got no clue what 1227 could be. I hear something rattling. But that's not it. Whatever 1227 is, it's still in the hole. A lot of shells here today. Not that hole. There's two scoops we got on it. Three scoops. Now we got a different sound. 1218. A nice 1218. Stand by a minute. Apparently it's two targets. We got the low one out now. We can see what it is. Damn that stuff there. I don't like it. You can't see a damn thing. That's it. It's a piece of lead. That's all right. Let's get the look. Let's get the high one out now. See what that is. The 1227 sound. That was 1218, I think that lead was. again. Okay, we got the high one out. Looks like a bullet. Big casing. How you making out, Mr. Chris? Find anything yet? No, I haven't found anything. I got two quarters. 1218 jumpy.
Gabba. Looks like a piece of lead to me. No, it's one of them piece out of a battery like thing, lead. Junk. Got a live one this time. 50 caliber. Out of that hole right there, I dug a paint top like I dig before, you know, Ocean View. But I never dug one with a lid on it before, till today. <laughs> ah, the lid. Chris found a fork bracelet. They take a fork and twist it all up. Has the end of it. Put it together. Put a magnet. You see the magnet right there? Yeah. And he found a silver ring up high there. There's some ice in it. Yeah. I see my buddy Denny. He's moved up high now. I may have to try the same thing. I'm digging a lot of stuff here, but it's just a little bit of change. A lot of bullets. Yeah. Weird crap. Two-thirds of the way out of the car, that old boy is. Well, we're getting ready for the roundup. And this coin right here that I thought was a quarter is not. I was putting the quarters together, and you can see it is larger than a quarter. I'm not sure what it is. Stand by a minute. You'll never guess what this is. Under the buffer, it's 10 dong. Vietnam. Kong Ho. Whatever that is. The land of Nada has given us a weird foreign coin from Vietnam. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. There it is. Some nice casings. One loaded 50 caliber. A few mega pennies. Two, two quarters. One nickel. It wasn't what we were expecting. We were expecting a lot more targets than this. Because the tide was high, maybe the targets are down below. We caught these right at the top of the slope where it drops off at. Dampish dry zone. We'll see what tomorrow looks like. I think Beaver said he's going down tonight. I think my buddy Dick, I got a text from him, said he's going. So we'll have some more reports tomorrow, I hope. Or maybe tonight to add to our Surf Church Sunday spin. If there is one. Depends on Jacqueen or whatever the name of that hurricane is. Okay, stand by. We'll see you tomorrow. Good luck, everybody. Happy spinning.